how Europe has supported uh, our uh, our country, tiny country, and whether this was you know beneficial or not. Certainly, it has. Certainly, um, we. I think there has never been a better time than to understand that commonalities for a small country, the world, and Europe um, exist. And that, yes, when we come together, we have to look at uh, instruments and suggest instruments that are beneficial to the economies of those particular countries. Of course, so many instruments that uh, previous speakers have been speaking about, so I will not need to mention, but have been, have been super helpful in supporting uh, employee wage benefits to ensure that the relationship in the engine, which is our, our, our economy within the employment of private sector, um, has been supported in ensuring and hopefully will support, therefore, the re-engineering process into the economy of the future. The focus on the green economy and the focus of the decarbonization of our economy and the 55% reduction of uh, carbon footprint by 2030 gives us uh, the right platform to us to truly re-engineer into a future which is clear to all, which is uh, clear to Europe, I would probably say also clearer to the rest of the world, but certainly clearer to Europe, and has becoming now clearer also um, to Malta. Keeping in mind that Malta is small, the need to invest in research and innovation to be able to make sure that the re-engineering process is in a direction that has been really thought out well, is of course a challenge for Malta. And this is something that has been a challenge for many years uh, in the past, still remains a challenge today, and we really need to focus on that um, moving forward. The last matter is, of course, the need to ensure that the funds that have and the instruments that have been made available by the EU, by Europe, need to come to the private business community fast, efficient, and to everybody.